What the United States Air Force brought to the table during this conflict was air superiority, for one. They provided ground forces with effectively uninterrupted operational capability free from harassment from the air. Most of Saddam's Air Force had actually withdrawn to Iran to prevent destruction and capture. The display of technology in use is probably one of the biggest things, technology being used so effectively. You see the use of cruise missiles, stealth technology, precision guided munitions. You see drone usage in terms of being able to get in what now we call ISR, and all in an incredibly austere environment. In terms of peer and near peer threats and the potential conflicts with peer and near peer adversaries, the Air Force is going to have to ensure that it is evolving in a way that incorporates technology like we've been seeing leaps and bounds in over the past few decades. But along with that evolution, we are going to have to return to some older ways of thinking in terms of taking on an enemy with the same capabilities or similar capabilities that we have.